and welcome back to another episode of snow runner my own self-imposed hardcore mode uh, i have knocked out almost all of the tasks and the timed events save for this one on this map and we're getting ready to do that one so what i'm going to be doing is going down here to point a and then shooting over here to point B. Coming back down, coming around the road to point C. Then all the way over here to point D. And point E. And hopefully I can do that in under six minutes. And I don't particularly care for this particular one. So as long as I finish it, I'm happy. And I have the... Tuz 420 Tatron is what I'm going to use for it. So let's get this thing fired up. And we'll get it started. So I chose this truck. It's not the fastest. <clears throat> Matter of fact, it's one of the slowest trucks. And... It goes through mud like it's nothing. So there are some muddy areas I've got to go through. Well, that didn't help my calls out any. I was turning the steering wheel. But it didn't want to turn. Back over here. Yeah, I thought this might be a little faster than turning around, backing up. And I don't think it was. Yeah, it's not going to help me out any. I'll take it over to this tree. Yeah, I should have just backed up. Oh wow, now this thing's stuck. Oh, I'm on a... shoot. I'm on a log. Well, I'm not going to make it in the time limit. So since I am just there, let's go up here and restart this. Uh, swimming sinking. Cancel the contest. And I'll go up here and try it again. This time try to do it the right way. Starting point should be over here. I see the tire tracks coming up. Okay, try one more time. spot down there
Come on, turn. So I am not a fan of the contest. stay as much out of the water as I can. And I'm actually... here. Let's just stick to the road. Oh, come on, rock. See, that's a problem with this vehicle. Every little rock will make it stuck. It'll high center it. It has no suspension travel. I was going to try to back down it, but I made that decision a little too late. Which is okay. For this one, all I'm worried about is completing it. I don't care what the score is. Which I still have two minutes and only two more to go. So let's we'll see how it turns out. Uh, the turning on this thing. Okay, one more to go. So I made it another time limit. That'll work. Let's get it up out of here onto some more solid ground. And I want to leave it over in this area because I have another mission. And that is... 
I still have uh, three more tasks to do and that's what I'm getting ready to do now and you can click on any one of them it shows three bricks but it actually only requires one brick per all of these are connected so there are three sets of bricks laying out here and uh, out here in the wilderness so here's one and I can pick it up and take it over to where do I need to take it? It's not fallen brick. Lost brick. And drowned bricks. Okay, so I take it over to So I've got the warehouse. So I've got to go to the warehouse. The homestead. And the village. So what I'll do is I'll pick up the one over here. And then uh, get up here. Come over here and pick this one up. And then deliver one to the village. And one to the factory. And then where's oh the last one's up here. And I can deliver it to nope, warehouse. And I can deliver it to the oh no wait a minute. I need to come here to the homestead first. So the homestead that's where the first one's going to be. And I will go ahead and... Okay, it's already tracking that one. So when I deliver there, then I'll pick up the other one. And take it to the village. And then I come up and pick up this one. And take it to the warehouse. So that's what I'm going to do. And for this, I have chosen because the road is really bad. I've got the Azov and I've already got it part of the way over here. So all I did was take it from here and drove it over to here, across the mud and parked it and I'm getting ready to get to where the bricks are. So let's go ahead and pick these bricks up. Get this first load delivered. And this is a road I haven't been down in this playthrough. And it's a rather pain in the butt road. That's the reason I haven't been down it. Okay, so let's... Whoa, 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 whoa. Back up here a little bit. Right about there. And... Activate my anchors. Keep me from sliding in any further. up here rid of all that and release it pack my cargo store my crane and let's get pulled out of here You can hook it up from the road. Uh, the last time I used a different truck. And it actually tipped the truck. Uh, not all the way over. I was able to save it. But I found that if you back down in there, you can get it better. 
There's also a trailer out here. And if I can remember where it is, I'll go ahead and pick it up and pull it back. It's a uh, scout trailer, so I have to winch it. And I believe it was down this road. Yeah, here it is. Ooh. through here nice and easy because don't want to flip the truck here's my dot Actually, I need to back up down in there and accept that mission. I don't know what that mission is. Uh, Lost Light Trailer. Uh, take it to the sawmill parking. Okay. And I know this isn't how you pull the trailer, but right now, this is how I'm going to get it out here and get it to a place where I can hook up to it better. as you can see this is not much of a road oh shoot I'm hooked up to it I was going to hook my winch up to make sure I didn't flip over but I am hooked to the trailer See if I can hook up to that because I know my anchors are not going to fit here. But if I can hook up to it and just pull it. And that's the bad part about these Russian cranes. I'm not very strong. Packed, restore the crane. Let's see if I can slip out of here a little bit. Maybe we can 
continue on our merry way. Oh, I'm about to make that mistake again. Last time I went to the left to go around this tree. And I ended up getting stuck in the woods. Tumbling trailer. It didn't say what kind of shape it had to be in when I got it there. Just that I got it there. There is the lumber mill. So, get that out of the way so I can see. Um, I think going straight through here might be the best. Then again, maybe not. Now I might be in trouble. Alright, just hook the winch back up to the trailer. Let's see if I can get some forward going. Barely. He's not very stable. So the rest of this I should be able to get through with no problems. So this mission is fallen brick. Why is that so lopsided? Hear it scraping up against the tree back there. Okay, so we're going to have to change to that. And hopefully, it'll let me deliver it here, even though it's not hooked up. Take it off my hands, yes. And I am about out of gas. Which is why I want to leave the Tatran out here. Bring me some gas. But I got enough to do this delivery. That's another thing I've 
I'm not real happy about this truck is the small fuel tank. A truck this size should have a bigger fuel tank in it. Fifty two gallons is not a lot of gas. Especially when most of the other trucks have seventy or more. <clears throat> So the next one is delivered to the warehouse, but I don't want to do that one. I'm going to do Lost Bricks. Because that is delivered to the village, which is closer. And it is located down here. And you can deliver the bricks to anyone you want. Activate my anchor. And then my crane. And I want to get the anchors out first before I do the crane. Because sometimes the crane will tilt the truck. close to the truck. Tipping over here now would be bad. Release it. Pack my cargo. Restore my crane. And then I'm driving straight out. At least I run out of gas. truck does not have a habit of tipping over, but it still can tip over if you're not careful. Get a bump just right on an angled road like this, and you're calling for rescue. Okay. So up here should be the Tega. So I think it is close. No, the Tatran's right over there. And the Tatran's got to come over here anyway. And getting up through there is a pain. Don't want to go that way. So let's head for the Tega. Which way was Tega? To the left. 
And if I run out of gas, well, I will run out of gas before I get there. I can bring the Tega back and steal some of its fuel. And then use the Tatron to refuel the Tega. Because I think the Tega still has a good bit of fuel in it. Come on. There you go. You got three gallons left. Get me to the top of the hill. Man, and I started to leave the Tega because I brought the Tega this way. I started to just leave it right here and I was like, nah, just drive it on down the road. Right there it is. Come on baby, a little further. Over the little hill. Couldn't timed it any better. Oh yeah, 54. So where am I at? Um, I need to go this way to the village. And what I can do is come over here, refuel, and then go to the village. That way I have a full tank of gas. And I can leave the Tega enough to get over here to the fuel station. Planning, you gotta do planning. I actually thought I would have enough gas to get Uh, to pick this load up and get you know from the garage pick up the two loads deliver one and get over here to the fuel station before I ran out just a little short I have found that a lot of times I can make it to a destination in this truck if I had 10 more gallons. 10 more gallons, I'd be okay. fuel change my trucks and it's getting dark so do I want to go out my village there it is so I actually want to go back out the way I came in
And yes, I do know that there is a, if this is your first one of my videos you're watching, I do know I can get repairs and fuel back there, but I'm in my own self-imposed hardcore mode. Which means that if I don't get fuel from a tanker that I own, get it from the garage, or get it from an add-on, it'll cost me $3 a gallon. And so far through this playthrough, I have not used a gas station to get gas, other than for a mission. You, know, you have to pick up fuel, fuel uh, barrels. So this game can be done without using fuel stations. It's not easy, but that's what I wanted. I wanted something harder. My other playthrough, I'm 100% complete in everything, just waiting on the new map. And what I've been trying to do is catch this playthrough up so that when the next map comes out, I can do it in hardcore mode instead of my regular mode. So you should have seen a list of hardcore rules at the beginning of this video if you're watching it on YouTube. And if you're not watching it on YouTube, if you're watching it on Twitch, go over and check out my YouTube channel under the hardcore mode and you can see a list of all the rules and I have only broken one actually I broke two uh, I broke one because I went over to Lake Cove to get the suspension or the uh, all-wheel drive uh, unit for uh, around here. Yep, for the GMC. Uh, because I think it's kind of ridiculous to have it all the way over there when you can actually use the truck. Uh, the truck does really good on the Michigan maps when it has the all-wheel drive and it also does really well in Alaska so I wanted to put it to the test I wanted to use the truck so I went ahead and broke a rule and went over and got it and then uh, last night I had somebody on the twitch channel that had never played the game and was asking me questions about it so uh, I was showing them some of the details of the game hopefully they will become a player and get the game a gentleman or somebody from Ala uh, Australia I was about to say a gentleman but I don't know if it's a gentleman or not girls can play snow runner too But anyway, I showed them how you could change the uh, time, and you can fast forward in time. So, second time I've broken a rule. Actually, third time I've broken a rule, because once I did recover a vehicle to the garage by accident, I meant to restore the crane and recovered it to the garage instead, which kind of ticked me off because I had to drive all the way back out to where I was to finish loading the truck up. Just got in a little bit of a hurry. It was actually on this map. All right, so come over here, and while I'm over here, I might as well top off in fuel again because I need to head through here. Do 
do a little first person action. So I like how the gauges light up at night. I want to try something. I kept forgetting. Okay, so even if you turn the lights off, the gauges are still lit up. I've been curious a couple of times whether or not the gauges would stay lit up, turn the lights off, and keep forgetting to test that. And now we know. And knowing is half the battle. Refuel. Fuel tank. And dissolve. And I did have to take I did have to take this tanker back. And I actually ended up pulling a trailer back with it also. Uh, to get it refueled. So how do you how do I refuel these tankers? Well with that one, I just take it back to the garage, put it in the garage, take it out of the garage, and it's full. Oh crap. Well, there's a reason why I brought this truck over too. And uh change trucks. Second, I forgot what I was going to do. Any repair? And then go ahead and refuel. Nope, the yeah, is off. Might as well put that extra gallon in there. Alright, let's try this again without damaging the truck. Oh, come on. That's all right. I got something for you. <clears throat> Let's repair it again. Change truck. And we'll go in there sideways. At an angle. Haha, <laughs> bite me game. Okay, so we're heading for the bricks. Deliver those to the warehouse. And this mission will be done. Done in the books. Benito. To the next playthrough. And I'm still liking the idea of doing a fast playthrough. And that playthrough, anything goes, except for cheating, of course. You know, where you leave your vehicle, recover back to the garage, and you get two vehicles. You sell one, I won't do that. But use the fuel stations, use everything, and actually time myself and see how many hours it would take get to each point but actually do some really good planning ahead of time so that you know, I'm not driving and doing a delivery and then driving all the way back to the garage 
maybe even do two deliveries at once try to maximize the or minimize the time that I'm actually driving by doing multiple things I call it snow runner the speed run oh what am I doing here it's not where I wanted to go I need to go way up here This is where I come to deliver. I'm talking and thinking instead of driving. It's always a bad combination. That one was no problem. I thought about doing it, doing a speed run. And the only rule would be I could not buy any trucks. I had to use the trucks that I find on the map. But I really don't want to do that because of the Lodestar. I mean, that's my number one go-to scout vehicle. And, with anything goes, um, I could jump straight over here and get the Tetran use that as a scout vehicle, but the problem with that is I can't pull the trailer with it. But I can also get the 166. So I can pull the trailer with that. I'm going to have to test and see how well that one does in uh, Michigan. See if it handles the snow and the ice in Alaska. So right there is my number one go-to scout vehicle. It's a Lodestar 1700. Alright, this gets tricky. And what I want to do... Now it's not going to roll. Get these anchors down real quick because this is on a pretty good incline and sometimes the parking brake does not hold like it should but with the anchors down it should hold me in place Get rid of this. Why is it not going? All right, that's weird. My crane is not going around. All right. So let's just. Oh, that's not what I want. Let's go back into crane mode. 
And I'm going to set this down. And I've got it in gear. So let's restore the crane. Activate my anchors again. Activate the crane. Let's see if we can't do this again. There we go, now it's going to the right. Pack it. And then restore the crane. And I gotta be ready to get out of here. Okay. Last time I did this, as soon as I restored the crane, the truck started backing up into the water. Because the parking brake wouldn't hold. And I got a little nervous and started hitting buttons and couldn't get it to go forward because I still had the menu open. And I panicked a little bit and almost drowned the truck out. top off with fuel. So what I try to do in this hardcore mode is everywhere there's a gas station I put a fuel tanker. Because all the fuel I get from my garage belongs to me, and it is free. Same way with repair points. So repair points cost me $10 a point. And right now I have 300 points for $300 that I've had to spend. And that was totally by accident in Alaska. I went to pick up a load, and as soon as I went in the yellow box, it told me that it did 30 that he used 30 repair points to fix the truck. I didn't know it would automatically do that. I never really paid that much attention. So that cost me 300. And how I'm keeping track of it, I write it down. And I said in the beginning that if I reached, was 11,600? That's what it costs for a, a Chevy pickup. But if I hit that amount, then I would buy a Chevy pickup and leave it outside of a garage. And I'm not allowed to touch it, and that would be money spent. Alright. And we see all the tasks are done. To include all of the uh, timed events, which that's what this truck was up here for, the timed event. We've got to come over here and then come up here. Uh, you got to drive around to here. And then drive over here and get up to here. All in eight minutes. And I wasn't recording it, but I actually did it. In under, I think it's eight minutes. No, 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 it's not. Five minutes and 30 seconds, I think, or six minutes and 30 seconds. Uh, my first attempt in this playthrough at it, I did it in seven seconds over. And then the following six attempts, ended up rolling the vehicle. So I was using the Tuz 166. And I just kept rolling it on the rocks. So that's why I took the load star over there and it was able to do it in uh, I shaved off a minute off the slowest time that you can do or the 
I think it was six minutes and 30 seconds and I did it in like five minutes and 20 some seconds. So that's the truck to use for that. I'm sure there are other trucks that can do it faster, but that's the one I like to use. Why is that there? Alright, so I have completed. That's Peer Recovery, that's Zemengorsk. Northern Road, that's on. Uh, quarry map. I've completed all of those. And all of these are either Rift, Quarry, or Zemengorsk. Zemnagorsk. So I only have one mission left here to do. And that's to come over here and... No, two, two. Uh, I've got to pull this one out. And there's a dark area somewhere in the map. Right there. I've got to pull a Hummer out. And I've got to deliver those two vehicles. So that should be the last two missions that I have on this map. And then we can move over to the quarry and the other two and finish those up. So let me know what, know what you think about the video. Uh, if you liked it, leave a like. If you didn't like it, let me know why. Uh, leave me some comments. Let me know how I'm doing. As I've said before, this is not a career move for me. It's just having a little bit of fun and I'd like to get better at it. So give me some feedback. And I will see you in the next episode. So until then, have a good one.